What's going on everyone? I hope you're doing fantastic. And today what we're going to be talking about are the five things that are killing your language learning progress. Ooh, spooky. It's close to Halloween. So the first and the most important thing, in my opinion, the reason why you're not progressing in your language learning journey is because, number one, you're not reviewing what you've learned. I didn't want to have to state the obvious. I didn't want to have to say, oh, you should review, you need to review, it's important. But I feel like a lot of people just don't do it because it's like, eh, I'm, uh, yeah, that's cool, but I can, I can learn new stuff. Reviewing is actually one of the most essential parts of learning any language or learning anything for that matter. Human brains usually can't just learn something once and then remember it forever. We need a lot of repetition and a lot of practice in order to get something really cemented into our head. And although you may not feel like reviewing those words you learned last week, it's gonna help you in the long run. So here's my tip for you on how to fix this. Anytime you plan on studying, take 10 or 15 minutes before just to go over what you learned the past couple of lessons. This ensures that you don't forget the things that you learned previously and that they actually stick with you. Additionally, some days I'll take an entire day just for review. It's okay if every day you're not learning something brand new. Don't mistake any new thing you learn as progress in a language. Because if you forget everything you learned before that, did you really progress? The second thing that is killing your language learning gains. Number two, you're not actually practicing what you've learned. If you're gonna spend all this time learning these phrases, these words, this grammar, and reviewing all of it, you wanna be able to use it, right? And although you may have memorized everything perfectly, there's no guarantee that when you actually talk to someone, it's going to work out like how you imagined it. Here's a little metaphor. Let's say, for example, I'm an airline pilot, and I say to you, hey, would you like to fly with me today? You say, hmm, I don't know, how long have you been flying? And I say, oh, well, I've actually never flown before, but I studied everything and I got perfect scores on all my tests. I don't know about you, but I probably would not pick me as an airline pilot. I would probably pick the person who has a lot of experience. In anything, not just in language learning, real world experience is so vital. By taking what you've learned in a language and actually practicing it with people, you're getting better at conversating, you're getting better at understanding and listening to people's accent in a certain language. So for goodness sakes, please practice. I know it can be embarrassing. I know it can be really difficult, but just please. Some good ways to practice are using apps like HelloTalk or Tandem, going on sites like TV or Omegle, or even playing some video games like VRChat. The third thing that is absolutely killing your ability to learn a language. Number three, you're getting stuck on the difficult things. In any language you study, you're always going to encounter some difficulty. Most people usually find the difficulty in grammar or grammar points. The biggest mistake I see people make though is that they get hung up on these things for days, even weeks sometimes. I personally don't think about language learning as a linear path. It's not really like a video game where you have to beat one boss to progress to the next thing. Language learning is great because you can jump around so much and learn all sorts of different things about a language. Maybe you get stuck on the grammar over here. Well, that's okay. Just go to something else. Go learn some different words or some new phrases to help inspire you to keep going. The next thing that is killing your language learning progress is... Number four, you're setting unrealistic goals or you have unrealistic expectations. Humans oftentimes like to imagine that the motivation that they have for something in the moment will carry on for weeks or months or years on end. But in my experience, that's not really how humans work. We have cycles, we have up and down days, you know, good days, bad days. And so you're not always gonna have this crazy motivation to do something, which is okay. But if you begin your language learning journey by setting a ridiculously high goal, you're gonna feel really disappointed and unmotivated if you can't meet that goal. I've found that it's better to set smaller goals and achieve those goals to give me motivation to make more goals. This is like a little life hack I like to use to make sure that I can stay motivated while studying. Even if I'm having the worst day ever, I say to myself, all right, Ryan, let's learn five new words today. Five, just five. And after studying those five new words, I feel great when I get to use them. As you study more and more, and as you progress throughout your language learning journey, you'll find that you can start setting higher goals, but don't rush to do it at the start. Life is not a race, folks, remember that. The fifth and final thing that is killing your language learning goals is you're not allowing yourself to fully delve into a language. Now that's a little bit vague, so let me explain more what I mean. 
Oftentimes, I feel like people who are learning a new language learn it from the context of their own language they already speak. If I know English and I'm trying to learn Chinese, I'm gonna find things like characters and the grammar patterns that they have very weird. But in my opinion, one of the coolest parts of learning a new language is letting go of all the preconceived notions you have about languages and really just delving into the new language. This also applies to the accent as well. I can't tell you how many times I've heard people say things like, Doi bu chi wo de zhang wen bu hao. Because they're afraid to mimic the true Chinese accent, or how a Chinese person would actually say the phrase. Whenever I start learning a new language, I always try and mimic how native speakers sound. I don't try and say it how I think it should be said from an English perspective, if that makes sense. So not only does this mimicking help build your confidence because you sound better, but also having the correct accent is vital to other people understanding what you're saying in any given language. Anyways, comment down below if you've caught yourself doing any of these five things, and let me know if the tips I gave were helpful in resolving these issues. I'll see you all in the next video. If you've made it this far in the video, you've found the secret sixth thing that is killing your language learning gains. And that is number six. You lost sight of the reason why you started studying the language in the first place. Everybody has different reasons why they want to learn a foreign language. For example, you might want to be able to talk with your family, or you might want to be able to understand certain cartoons or dramas that you like to watch. But if you get so caught up in the difficulties and the struggles of studying, so much that you forget why you started studying in the first place, you're gonna lose motivation very quickly. My fix for this is to always be thinking about and dreaming about why you started studying that language and let those reasons guide you forward while you're studying. If you have somebody you really want to impress by learning a language, or you just want to be able to communicate with people who speak that language, try to imagine yourself doing those things successfully and having a great time. And that will give you so much motivation to keep going, I promise you. Okay, for real this time, thank you everybody so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. If you haven't already checked out my website where I post all my language tips for free, be sure to check that out too because it's a great resource, in my opinion. Alright everyone, so here's a really quick preview of my website. I'm just giving you a view of the homepage right now and all sorts of articles that I have on it. For free, of course, like I said. And this is just one of my articles on motivation, just showing you that all this stuff is in there and there's all sorts of resources and tools available if you need them. And that's basically it, so definitely if you have a chance, go ahead and check it out. It's well worth it. Thanks everybody.